Oh, hey. So, I saved this cage. It's a backflow valve cage for a building uh, from a construction dumpster. Uh, it's got expanded uh, metal mesh, and I just thought it would come in handy one day for something, and now I know what that is. The back door to my garage, and I'll show that in a minute, has a glass panel on it. I don't have access to my garage from inside the house. I have to go to the front garage door here. And the, the back door has got a big glass panel on it. It's susceptible for somebody to just break it and uh, steal all my stuff. And I don't want that. So I'm going to make a security panel out of this that bolts on from the outside. And we'll cut this up and we'll upcycle this. This is a, definitely an upcycling project, taking something that was bound for the landfill, for a metal recycle yard uh, as scrap, and turn it into something that I'm sure if I hired somebody to come out and do, it would be uh, hundreds, if not over a thousand dollars. So let's check it out. I think it'll be a fun video, uh, a simple upcycling project. I'm going to use my plasma cutter, my welder, and uh, we'll make this thing happen. Let's check it out. Hey, so um, fast forward to a couple of days. We saw me get the plasma cutter out, and, and we talked a big game about the about this 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 project. Um, here are the three pieces I cut. The idea was to take these three pieces, put them together, weld them back together. Because two years ago, plus when I found this backflow cage in a dumpster. Um, two years ago, I could have swore I measured it and it was 25 inches wide. And I know I need at least 39 inches long. So anyway, the idea was to, to cut this out, cut out the rest of the metal because I'll, I'll use that for another project, weld this together, take some, some of this flat iron that I have, and then this will help stitch everything together and this is the same distance on the window, and I, I, I showed you that. And here's the problem. Two years ago, I don't know, I think I let this sitting outside, I think it shrunk because it is not 25 inches wide. My window is 23 and 3 quarters of an inch wide, and as wide as I will be able to get this is 23 and a half. So take it from somebody who's been making for well over four decades. Um, the simplest of the rules are always the smartest. Measure twice, cut once. So I did a bunch of cutting, no measuring, and now this isn't going to work. However, let's go to plan B. And plan B is I do have the extra metal. I have this, I have a couple of pieces of this, and I've got some bed frame angle iron. So, the upcycle project is going to continue. It's going to be the same idea. I'm just going to weld the frame, and then I'm going to do the same thing, put this all together, and we'll continue. I just thought it was funny. Here I am trying to show people how to do something, be inspirational. I'm, I'm trying to inspire you how to not uh, screw up, because I just did. Anyway, stick with me. We'll actually make this happen anyway. So plan B, home security, backdoor defense, beef up hack. Here we go.
shock, surprise, oh hey. No, just kidding. So um, there it is. I, I think that turned out really well. That's, that's exactly what upcycling is. Taking something that literally would have ended up in the landfill or recycling uh, plant and, and has no value and creating something of value from it. That would have cost me quite, quite a bit of money, I think, to hire somebody to come out, fabricate it, to fit over the door and install it. And it really cost me nothing. The materials that I used, I either found or already had from other projects uh, and my time, you know, a few hours after work, a couple days a week. So not, not bad. Anyway, if you listen to my podcast, Reclaimed Audio, uh, you would have heard that I mentioned the title of this on that, and we all thought it would be funny. The Ultimate DIY Home Security Hack Upcycling 201 Third Semester. So that's where that came from. I'm not trying to uh, do a pinch and grab title thing, whatever that's called. Anyway, I appreciate you all so much. Check out the podcast. Uh, like and subscribe and share this video if you like it. Look forward to some electric uh, cigar box guitar builds that I'll be doing soon. And um, we'll catch y'all later. Thank you so much. Bye.